North Korea is a irrational and bombastically lead, uh, led country, I think, that most people would be worried about, particularly because it's in our region. Technically, North and South Korea are still at war. They declared a truce, signed 63 years ago, but technically they are still at war. Now I want, you to, I want to take you back then and tell you about an operation called Moolah. Everyone know what Moolah means? You got it. And trust the Americans to come up with this. During the Korean War, the Americans wanted, wanted to get their hands on a MiG-15 so as to test its strengths and weaknesses. How do you get one? Well, they broadcast on radio into North Korea that they'd offer 100,000 US dollars at that time and amnesty to any pilot who would deliver one. Only problem was that North Koreans were forbidden to listen to the radio. <laughs> that was never going to work. <laughs> uh, imagine their surprise then when Lieutenant No Come Sok, no, I'm not making it up, <laughs> dropped into Kimpo Airfield in South Korea, and I mean dropped in. There was Captain Dave Williams taking off in his F-86 when the MiG landed coming towards him. <laughs> he swerved to avoid it and exclaimed, it's a goddamn MiG! <laughs> he was surprised. Come the sock, parked his MiG, got out and tore up a photo he had on him of Kim Il Sung, the dictator of North Korea. He'd just taken 17 minutes from Pyongyang, flying at the maximum speed he could get out of it, well, 1,000 kilometres an hour. Neither the North Koreans nor the Americans had detected him the whole way. Although they do say that if he had landed in the correct direction on the runway, they would have detected him. <laughs> and that saved his life. Um, uh, and this is the sad part, five former comrades and his commander were executed as reprisals. But he had no knowledge of the reward. And his motivation was, the opposition, was his opposition to communism. After Chuck Yeag and Tom Collins conducted flight tests and the engineers had had their way, the aircraft was offered back to North Korea, politely declined the offer. They weren't interested. That aircraft you can see today at the Wright Patterson Air Force Base, and yes, I have seen it, as I know many of you guys have. No Come Sock, now known as Kenneth Rowe, had a long and distinguished career as an aeronautical engineering professor in the US. Interesting story, isn't it? Yeah.